why your parents shouldn't have a say in your relationship. There's a whole bunch of parts to what you need to realize. Your family, when you're growing up, your parents, your siblings, that's your family. And he will have his same family over here. And then when you get to a certain age, you guys get together, you are a new family. The girl and the boy, that's a new family. And their parents and their parents are different families. This isn't her family anymore. It's her extended family. That's his extended family. That's not his real family. This is the new family. That's what matters. Your new relationship, that's your new family. You're dating your partner. Doesn't matter what her parents think. Doesn't matter what your parents think. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. You're not dating anybody, you're dating your partner. A lot of you guys get really confused. You look at all these different areas. Oh, my mom thinks this and my mom thinks that. Who cares what your mom thinks? You're not dating your mom, you're dating your partner. What do you think? You gotta spend the rest of your life with that person. One question which really baffles me is, why does your parents or your family, your extended family think it's okay to tell you to your face that you shouldn't be dating that person. That's what's really concerning to me. So if your family thinks they can come up to you and say, hey, I don't like your partner, why have you allowed that relationship to be built that way? If someone has the gall to tell you those things to your face, that shows me that you must be some sort of no honor doormat where people can just tell you whatever they want and there's no consequences because they think they know better than you because you're so stupid. It's absurd. It's absolutely ridiculous. Where's your sense of pride? Where's your courage? Your friends, your extended family, none of these people should feel that they can say to your face, I don't like your partner. I got a saying, which I say all the time, your wife is right and your mom is wrong. Always take your partner's side. Never ever take the side of anybody else. It's disrespectful respectful to your partner to go against them. You're on your partner's team first and foremost. So with your ideal partner, you have a, such a good level of compatibility that you are on the same page. You don't have to force it. You don't have to fake it. You're on the same page automatically. That's the key as well. Choose the relationship you want to have. Don't let anyone's negative opinion on your relationship dictate how it goes. Set boundaries with people and get your relationship to a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10 is what everyone can achieve. All you people watching this video, you can achieve a 10 out of 10. Don't settle. If it's not your ideal partner, if it's not absolutely incredible, knock your socks off. If you don't need to be with them, don't be with them. It's not your ideal partner. And if there's anybody in your life, parents, family, friends, exes, anybody at all, if there's anyone holding you back from achieving a 10 out of 10, hindering your success, get rid of them. So if your mum constantly tries to sabotage your life, ring her up and tell her, hey, I'm going to stop talking to you because I think you're a piece of shit. It's your life. You've got to be selfish. If you don't put yourself first, you're never going to achieve a 10 out of 10. Look, guys, if you need help, book on a call. I'm here to help.